light up to face each other in what is a, a crucial game for London to get back on track and a more crucial game for Halifax to keep their season and their hopes at the top four finish alive. Jared Sabat, almost a Halifax player once, will kick off for the London Broncos. All red, familiar strip but still maintaining the uh, Broncos traditional colours. Uh, blue and white. And yellow armbands as well. Sabat's kick could be too far. Salt of Salt feels it in the end goal. May have left that to go out then but uh, then seem to uh, be better catching it and running it back Bradley Douglas 10 metres out tackled by Cunningham and Will Mayer and a good drive attracting four defenders to him and he's going to make this uh, Broncos defence work Simon Griggs and possibly would have been more in a loose forward roll, but uh, still running out wide. Jacob Fairbank to the 30 metre line. Good defence from the Broncos. The last tackle being indicated by the referee. And a kick. Halifax deep in the Broncos territory. We'll have to be quick to Dixon. I already mentioned he's a speed series, Kieran Dixon. So tries all day, giving the opportunity. He's got nine so far this season. The Broncos top scorer. And Williams drives the ball up, falls just outside the Broncos 30. Another man with seven tries, Reese Williams. So plenty of pace on the wings and plenty of try scoring ability. And all the looking out the Attack from Jay Pitts who takes it just over halfway. Reese Williams takes it up again for the Broncos, taking it inside on a lateral run but finish up being tackled on the 40. Halifax will be looking towards Sabat, who will no doubt kick with this being the last tackle. Sabat getting high but not a massive amount of distance and Tyra underneath it for Halifax. The other two defenders are Come to uh, Will Sharp then, but it didn't get that far, and Sharp will get the opportunity to run it back and try and spin out of the tackles just outside Halifax 20. Conor McGrath picks up and goes from acting half, running hard and strong into a two man tackle just over the 30 metre line. Here comes Will Mayer again, and Mayer again attracting a possibly of Broncos defenders to him two metres from a half weight. Good carry from Mayer. Ben Johnson had to check then, and Grady gets it. Johnson, Johnson strides away, looks inside and outside for support. Broncos defensive got back. And Johnson didn't have the opportunity to pass, but the referee's hand in the air for the last tackle. And Fairbanks to Morell. Morell, Tess William, McGrath up as well. And Williams being forced back into the in goal area. That's great defence from Halifax. The pass made in the in goal area by Williams was this get. But didn't relieve the pressure because Halifax is quick to bounce on Alex Walker as well. Great strength. Jester Butler there was uh, Simon Griggs to force Williams back in the in goal area. Perfectly placed kick from Scott Morell. And Samet will drop out from under the post, looking for distance and it goes beyond Sharp and Brandon Douglas, Halifax have to go back and that's miss has turned it into a good kick for Samet, Sharp gets it back beyond the 40s, good kick return, and perhaps where Sharp should have uh, caught the ball but it just went over his head, Brandon Douglas couldn't take it either from the drop out but he sent it back over halfway for Halifax. Brandon Moore. Oh, Brandon Moore named as on the replacement bench for Halifax, but obviously making the start. Ben K will come off the interchange bench in London with a penalty. 
a good position with a drop out under the post. Halifax find themselves defending the first run from Tom Spencer. For the Wheeligan, Wheeligan, Lee and Holden man. With a strong run and the ball out in the tackle. And Cunningham looking to exploit some space on the far side and Halifax back on the 10 metre line. Failing to secure the ball in the tackle. And Ferragge gets it to Sabat. Sabat with a short ball to Jay Pitts. And Pitts is hammered by Butler. Halifax still defending the line. Lewis Beanick driving towards a Halifax post. And Fairbank adding his way to the tackle that uh, forces Beanick to the ground. Opportunity on that far side, but. Uh, Walker opted to go on his own with two men outside him. Halifax twirled out another tackle and Steve Tyra doesn't look at the ball bouncing off Sharp's legs with a kick from Pepper Raggett. Steve Tyra looks like he needs attention to a, a problem with an arm. And Morell tackled upstairs by Sammer and another high tackle goes unpunished by the referee, much to the annoyance of the Halifax supporters. Well, the first one on Morel was bad enough, but Jay Pitts was uh, high on his second attempt. Morel into acting out, gets it to Saltonstall, and Saltonstall was able to offload to Fairbank, who found a, a space in the Broncos' defence. Brandon Moore to Johnston, and Johnston looking and weaving, trying to get underneath the defence. Brandon Moore to Morel, who puts it down into the corner, Walker sweeps across and gives it inside to Dixon. Dixon is tackled by Brandon Douglas, has to get some, let's make sure that London play quickly. The problems now, Halifax struggling to deal with Walker, the fullback, and he gets his pass away. And the referee has seen a forward pass. Great work from Walker. The defence was falling off the uh, Broncos' fullback. They took full advantage of it, but the pass going forward. have uh, Simon Griggs on the floor receiving attention. Well, they don't really want to lose anybody, but uh, Simon Griggs is so influential and when he's on the field. Back to his feet, restored to uh, full health. Halifax will begin with a scrum 28 metres out from the Broncos line. Referee was not happy with the way Brandon Moore was uh, packing on the back of the scrum then. Moore gets it to Tyra, obviously recovered from that arm injury for now. So plays the ball. Johnston to Brandon Douglas, virtually from a standing start. Halifax still outside that uh, London Broncos red zone. Now Morell steps inside, goes on his own. And uh, Spencer managing to bring him down, Halifax looking for the quick play, Will Mayer drives the ball up to the Broncos line, Gets a really good leg drive, takes four defenders to stop him, a metre out from the line, Brandon Moore switches to the right hand side, and the ball from Morel to Griggs is uh, a little bit fast and obvious, a little bit slippy, it's gone out of the fingers of the Halifax number 12, and Halifax putting on the pressure, still nil nil, after eight minutes. That was immense drive by Will Mayer. Once again attracting four defenders to him. And he will probably deserved a bit more, but the defenders managing to stop him. As they have done there with the Fairbank and Grady. Second tackle, Broncos up to the 20 metre line. Sabat winning a penalty, wrestling with uh, Brandon Douglas there, forcing the referee to blow the whistle. The Broncos a piggyback penalty, we just now seen them reach. 
halfway and Elliot Kia will drive the ball up to the Halifax 30 metre line many metres made there Matt Davies to the 20 metre line Cunningham looking for runners gets the ball away to Spencer who sackled 12 metres out Cunningham looking for a quick play of the ball gets it to J.A. Pitts and an advantage on that far side which Sonsol got his hand to and has given London Broncos six ball tackles and Dixon well, picks the wrong men to run into when he dropped his shoulder then he's put down nine metres out Cunningham looking for runners finds Samet a long ball out and well that's a clever pass from uh, Ben Halliwell under the arm to put Reese Williams in and the London Broncos doing the basic right there getting the ball across and stretching Halifax in defence from one side of the field to the other and a clever pass from Halliwell slipped the ball away to Williams Samet a kick two metres in from the touch line in from uh, putting pressure on at one end of the field in the London half Halifax find himself holding the inquest in the in goal area off the London Broncos with a sense of that penalty which put the Broncos into the Halifax half just the Broncos exploiting weaknesses <coughs> on the Halifax flanks going for the first score Take the lead, four points to nil. Samet with 37 goals this season. All the Fox supporters trying to put him off. Samet taking a long time. Well, that one sneaking inside the left hand upright for Jared Samet and Halifax trail six points to nil after ten and a half minutes well gets the ball to drop in front of the players looking for a, a bounce that might cause an error but uh, Davis deals with it for the London Broncos and brings it back and in fact being pushed back a little bit in the tackle Cunningham moves into acting half being it gets up and plays the ball and not so much yardage made this time by Davis and there's a juggle of the ball from Spencer but manages to keep hold of it and uh, Drives himself backwards almost up to halfway. Cunningham to Pefferangit turns the ball inside. Last tackle. Broncos five metres inside Halifax territory. Back to Pefferangit for the high kick. And there's a call. Well, eventually McGrath takes it. Looked as though Sharp and McGrath might have actually collided there. And Connor McGrath has done an excellent job on a kick return, taking it back to the 30 metre line. Sharp will have a go now from. Uh, Acting half, tackled by Lovell, Halifax 40, Johnson looking for the quick play and Sonsol coming in off the wing looking to uh, make the same ground that McGrath did, he was doing a good job until Jay Pitts grabbed hold of the leg and upended him and Halifax will get a penalty, their first of the afternoon for uh, holding down. Scott an opportunity to put Halifax in a good position. Well, it's probably not gone as far as it would have liked, but uh, Halifax begin 35 metres out from the Broncos line with Fairbank driving the ball into three Broncos defenders just inside the 30. Brandon Moore goes from acting out, gets it to Johnston. Johnston links up with Sharp. Tyra 
running out of ground on the far side. Salt and Salt picks it up and gets it inside to Grady. And Grady will run the ball up to the Broncos defence again. It's a, a three man tackle. Now, 10 metres away, Halifax. Brandon Moore gets it to Will Mayer. He's quickly marked by the Broncos defence this time. No chance of getting up the heavy steam that he got last time. Morell shows the ball, tries to duck under the Broncos defenders. Last tackle. Halifax need a playmaker and that'll be Ben Johnson who taps it through on the floor. Not the best of kicks, easy for the Broncos defence to pick out. Alan London right in the forwards with Lovell to get it away from their own try line. Halifax trying to keep London in the red zone. Two tackles have done that so far. And Williams, the try scorer, in off the wing, making more yards than the forwards did and attracting four Halifax defenders to him. That means it could be weak in uh, the back line, but Cunningham's opted for the kick. And Will Sharp, well, fancy his chances with Cunningham, but Cunningham's done a good job on the kick and chase. And maybe the play now from Danny Ward. Kick the ball. Into Halifax territory, referee not particularly watching the offside there. And London Broncos moving up very quickly. There's at least four men in front of him there. Sol Sol takes it up to the 30 metre line. And the Broncos defenders are not even making the effort to go the full 10 metres. And Halifax are forced to kick. Dixon will collect it for the London Broncos and look to try and go around the outside then steps in and drops the shoulder and Dixon good return from Dixon takes him five metres from halfway walk of the full back or early here sorry it was running the ball up even further Halifax on the man down it's uh, Brandon Douglas I think and the ball has, has bounced off the London Bronco got into the hands of Simon Griggs and the referee has decided from the knock-on that Halifax were offside. Well, it's a, a penalty that's in kickable distance and so often now coach is going back to the uh, two points on offer. Well, I don't know Halifax have been penalised from a knock-on. Eddie Batty is on for the London Broncos, the former Sheffield Eagle. In the, uh, in what seems to be the latest fashion with the uh, tied-up hair on the back of the head. It's from Fairbank on uh, Halliwell, but uh, Broncos still pushing forward. Samet indicating the, the backs should go out a bit further on that far side as he gets the ball away to Pepperange the former Cronulla Sharks half back Newcastle Parramatta as well and the New Zealand Warriors is an Irish international well the referee has given London Bronco another penalty and he's going to penalise Halifax with his hand in the pocket. Looks like uh, somebody going off for 10 minutes. Brandon Moore is back to the Sydney for 10 minutes. Well, for saying something out of turn is the indication from the referee. Cunningham to Batte. Batty tries to get the ball away. Halifax don't get the ball, but they make the tackle. And the referee's given six more tackles. Batty with the shirt ripped. Halifax getting frustrated. And rightly so. Need to be careful though, not to give away any more penalties or have anybody else this back to the sim mid. Long ball out wide. And the overlap's there. Dixon will pick it up and put inside. And then be hammered to the ground five metres away. Cunningham goes on his own from acting half. And the referee, how can he be offside when a man plays the ball five metres away from the line? So 
five penalties to one. Halifax lying under immense pressure. Assisted by controversial and, and dubious decisions from the referee. Scott Burrell down on the floor, just getting a thumbs up for the Halifax captain. Matty has uh, been given another shirt, haven't him? The other one quite literally ripped off his back. Pepper Rang, he gives it to Spencer. Spencer hit by Fairbank in Italy, but Halifax, have they got enough in the tank with 12 men to uh, repel this attack? Sammet gets it away. Helliwell, no pass this time coming to Williams, and Helliwell's put down two metres out from the touchline. Williams is looking for a second, spinning away from acting hard, but the Halifax defence managed to put him down where Helliwell's put down just moments ago. Helliwell with a lofted pass to Sammet. Sammet running across the defence and Heferanga gets it out wide and there's an overlap on that far side. Dick gets to Dixon again, Johnson misses Dixon, so does Grady. Gets the pass away and Heferanga going back the same way. Halifax able to bring down Lovell. Five metres out, but the pressure still on the line as Pefferange looks to escape the clutches of Brandon Douglas. Looks as though he's going to kick through first time. Decided to run it. Well, what will happen this time? Will they get another penalty? Well, they won't because Sam Fairbank has reacted to Samet's kick and Matty holding Fairbank now. Referee looking across the London line. Well, he's got a man there stood in front of him as a referee. Salt and Salt trying to get up and play the ball. And James Green on for Halifax up to halfway. Dan Fleming gets to the forte, falls awkwardly but gets up and plays the ball. Last tackle to Morell. Morell kicks down behind Williams into two. On the London Broncos 10 metre. Well, makes you wonder if the referee knows what 10 metres is. Certainly not applying the uh, rule to the Broncos defensive line. from the 10 metre line as uh, Williams gets the ball and puts inside. Halifax defending just outside the Broncos red zone with Chester Butler switching to the short side again looking to get Williams and uh, away. Brings Reese Williams down. Eddie Batte charging it up, stopped by Griggs and Green. Sammet will kick towards the touchline, but that shouldn't be getting anywhere near. It's 10 metres in field, and Sharp will pick it up for Halifax, away from two, and only just brought down by the tackle from Davis. And Halifax get the penalty. Biggest cheer of the afternoon so far for Halifax, hasn't it? They get a penalty. Well, they are trying to interfere with the play of the ball. Scott Morell. Got a kick this time from Morell, making almost 30 metres into the Broncos half of the field. Chester Butler will tap it and go on his own. Runs straight at Samet, but uh, only well there to help out the scrum half as Fleming takes it from a standing start, bats away two Broncos defenders, unable to get too many metres forward. James Green charging it up, and Green through the defence again, it's just an ankle tackle. This time from Butler, Grady takes the short pass off Ben Johnston, Halifax looking to uh, get over the Broncos try line for the first time. 
Johnston gets it to Tyra, and Tyra's got the ball down, and Halifax respond with 12 men. Ball coming as London tried it from a penalty with Morel putting it into uh, touch. Strong drives from Butler, Fleming, and uh, James Green. Setting up the platform for Ben Johnson to use the uh, couple of metres he had on the short side to send Tyra in and even with defenders around him Steve Tyra managed to uh, extend the arm and put the ball down to put Halifax back within two Maybe uh, down but not out after that plethora of penalties that was awarded the London Broncos. Managed to uh, hold out, win a penalty, and get the reward. Tyrant looking to convert his own try. of the Halifax supporters from about 18 inches from the far touch line fails to find the mark but Halifax have scored a try with 12 men <coughs> managed to bring myself back to within two points London Broncos six Halifax four the ball back from the kickoff Samut will take eventually when he's placed the ball to his ideal liking on the tee. Taken by Salt and Salt, James Green. Met by three defenders, 12 metres out from the Halifax line. Grady. Three defenders there again and in no rush to let Shane Grady get up and play the ball. Tyra takes the ball up to the 30 metre line Fleming brought down 2 metres short of the 40 and again London Broncos defenders in no rush to get up and allow the quick play of the ball Green 2 metres short of halfway on the last tackle back to Morell and Morell gets his kick away it's into the in goal area and Walker is going to have to bring it back Halifax holding him up uh, turning him over and putting him on his back the 10 metre line Ricks and Butler with the tackle Scott Morell rejoins the defensive line after uh, taking a bit of a late hit from uh, loose forward Matt Davis as he tried to get the kick away Ricks, Green and Fleming making the tackle Butler trying to find a, a way through the Halifax defence. Batte gets the ball away to Cunningham. Pefferani gets it out wide. Halifax need numbers on that far side. With Lovell causing problems out wide. Then the ball back inside. Johnson makes a tackle on Pefferani. Pefferani goes after Ben Johnson. Well, it was uh, bound to happen, was this? Will Sharp's got in late as well. There's still punch is being thrown. Well, the official, the initial offence was Pefferangi throwing a punch at Ben Johnson. They tried to uh, dominate him, the bigger man. But the result, the resulting fracas could see that decision overturned. Players coming in from both sides. Well, Johnson not being intimidated by uh, Pepper Ranget, no respecter of reputations, and he came with quite a big one with the uh, Irish international. Both touch judges on. 
probably look better against the London Broncos penalty here, considering it's uh, five to two in their favour. A lot of finger pointing going on between the sides. Still stood like they're ready to uh, have a go at each other. They're almost lining up warrior like facing each other. Johnson and Moreno, oh you are! Ben Johnson leaves the field for 10 minutes. So Halifax down another man. <laughs> Pepperani being stored a yellow card as well. So London Brom goes down to 12. Well, I think the referee's trying to take the thing out of this situation by uh, sending players to the sim bin and a London Broncos penalty. So Halifax down to 11, Brandon Moore down in the touch line, so he's 10, more, 10 minutes, must be almost up. The 11 men of Halifax will be spent against the 12 from London. And you would expect that they will have a little more space with the London Broncos, but not with uh, Tackley like that from uh, Fairbank and Green. Pass goes to Elliot Keir, look forward. Halifax pushing Keir back away from the Halifax line. Dixon will look for a way through, but Fleming. Well, had hold of him, needed assistance from Grady and Green. Tackle eventually made 18 metres out. And a knock on. Celebrated by all the Halifax team. Pressure put on, Brandon Moore comes back on, so at least for the moment we're back to 12 aside. Johnson and Pepper Raggett will sit out another seven or eight minutes in the sim bin. With just under 14 minutes to go. Halifax for London Broncos six. <coughs> Halifax with the ball. The referee's not happy with the scrum again. And London Broncos barely making the 10 metres required again. Tyra eventually put down. Will Mayer, here we go again, calls to get the players back on side. Well, they don't need it this time because the referee has decided that Halifax should have a penalty on their 30 metre line. The last penalty Halifax had here, they went on to score from. Uh, Morell's made halfway with a kick, Conor McGrath will tap it to himself and take the first drive up into the Broncos defence. Gets to the Broncos 40 metre line. <coughs> James Green will drive it into three weight defenders. Brandon Moore uses the short side, Morell kicks over the top, the chase is on, Walker could be late, who's there first? Well it looks like the boat of Williams. Just beat the chase of Chris the Butler who slammed his hand onto the ground in frustration at not being able to get to that kick. Sean Jones is on for Halifax. Halifax will hope that they can uh, cover this dropout from Samet. The last one went almost up to the Halifax 20 metre line. This one should be covered on or about halfway by Salton Stall as he picks it up and runs it back to the Broncos defence carrying it. Well, would have been 15 but he's made 20 by turning his back and driving backwards towards the defence. Sean Jones takes it up to the 20 and beyond. Great run 
first run from the replacement Morel gets it to James Green and Green goes down 11 metres out gets up fairly quick play this one Fleming gets it to Morel Morel out to Sharp Sharp tried to get it away and now Dixon has got uh, space in front of him Halifax trying to chase him down Bronco still moving forward with Walker the fullback gets it away Elliot Keir is going to go to the corner and once again from Halifax looking like they were uh, putting pressure on and could have put another four points on the board the Broncos have gone to the other end of the field Halifax well, down a man in defence but uh, unable to catch Keir and Dixon initially <laughs> Keir and Walker carrying it the rest of the way interchanging and Keir going over for the second try for the London Broncos and moving them into double figures. 31 minutes gone in the first half. It's uh, Halifax 4, London Broncos 10. With a kick to come from Sabbath. Well, Halifax will try to exploit a potential opening on the far side of the uh, Broncos defence. Team just coming on the field is Sadiq Adibaye, who's not on the team sheet. Who's not on the team sheet? I don't know. Oh no, that was a late change. There were two late changes from uh, Maureen Kerr and then that very guy for. to put the Sabbath off. Seems it's worked this time as uh, the flag stayed out for Sabbath's attended com attempted conversion and it stays at Halifax for London Broncos 10. Which knows that Ben K is a very late withdrawal from the Halifax squad. Same with uh, London with Adibaye, the former Broncos Academy captain. A late inclusion for them. Morel oh, could have kicked too far, but Dixon takes it in the in goal. Bate will run it back. And Fleming and Jones. Brandon Moore combining to make the tackle 10 metres out. Less than 10 minutes ago in the first half. And Halifax would probably like to think they can respond with something they thought they were going to do on the last attack. But in a, a game where uh, mistakes are punished, London punished it ruthlessly on that last play. Eddie Batter going round behind his own man as a shepherd, and Chester Butler has stolen the ball. Sammet's coming across. Great play from Butler. Sammet got in a rush to get off Butler, and uh, James Green will drive it forward, and Halifax could come up with something here if we can carve something out Sean Jones driving towards the line Brandon Moore out to Fleming and Fleming looked like he'd found a gap there but somehow the scrambling defence got to him before he was able to get to the line Brandon Moore to Morell Morell to Chester Butler and Halifax unable to break the line it's the last tackle Morell looking for a little chip through and Williams again forced to take the ball out of play Halifax forced another drop out under the post well probably the second best result first would have been a try but they were unable to break down the Broncos defence have forced Sabbath into another drop out in which there's no rush the clock has been stopped anyway. Chester Butler receives attention. Great steal of the ball from Batte, who probably should have been penalised from going behind Cunningham. Salt and Salt gives it inside to James Green, and James Green has brought out a 
another three-man tackle from this Broncos defence. Sean Jones attracts three as well. Looks as Halifax try to play the ball quickly. They're being stifled by uh, London slowing down tactics. Morel to Grady. Grady through the line. Grady on the Second Halifax guy. Brute ball from Shane Grady. Striding through the Broncos defenders most of the line. And planting the ball down. <laughs> and Halifax creating with only one half back with uh, Ben Johnston off. Well, putting Grady. We did put him into a gap. Grady made his own by barging through the Broncos defence. Slamming the ball down for the second try. And a kick that Steve Tyra would feel quite comfortable with. 10 metres to the left hand side of the upright, much easier than his uh, last attempt. And no mistake from Tyra with that one as he levels the score up. Halifax, Ted, London Broncos, Ted. Well, a little bit of response before half time, and they certainly got one there. The uh, tactics of three men in the tackle have usually worked for London Broncos, but not on that occasion. I think you're going to put the whole team in front of uh, Shane Grady then, and he'd have gone through them. James Green, well, he's done. Left one, London defender on the floor. Batty goes one way, Salt and Salt goes the other and carries the ball up towards the 30 and then gets the offload away to Brandon Moore who has an injection of pace to Moore. Batty with a good tackle this time as Sharp gets it to Sean Jones and Sean Jones pushes Jay Pitts away and Jay Pitts needs reinforcements. He's the last man up from the tackle, got it in the second attempt, Morell gets it away to Simon Griggs and Griggs going for the line and Griggs doesn't need the support and Simon Griggs looks like Grady holding off defenders they had hands on him, they didn't know whether he was going to pass and the longer he went, the nearer the line got for Simon Griggs who's put Halifax into the lead with a super try strength and determination on show Griggs goes over for Halifax's third try the lead for the first time with less than five minutes to go in the first half Perfect response from Halifax. They seem to have it all against them earlier with the uh, penalties they were giving away, according to the referee. <laughs> ben Johnson's back on. So, Pepperangi both team restored to 13 players for Halifax. They've been doing it tough with 12 and have managed to put themselves in the lead for the first time. Tyrus Convergent. He's waved away by the touch judges. Even he thought it had gone over. Well, it looked a good two points. Players and supporters alike complaining that the flag stayed down there. For the first time, Halifax in the lead, 14 points to 10. And the ball put out on the full. Makes you wonder on a day like today in these conditions whether Tyra could uh, put the ball over from the halfway line. Halifax, obviously not looking at option because Tyra has stayed out on that far side. Morell will kick for touch with uh, 
3 minutes 15 seconds left of the first half can Halifax come here another try off the back of a penalty Chester Butler drives the ball up looked to groggy a couple of minutes ago but obviously okay to carry on Simon Griggs to James Green Eddie Batt is making a beeline for James Green every time he has the ball Did a lot of work in defence Johnston brings Tyra back on the inside Tyra takes it to within 10 metres and managed to get somehow to get the offload away. Tyra still be still being tackled by the London defence while Sharp was going and then Dan Fleming towards the line. Brought down two metres away and struggling to get up and play the ball. Well that's given Halifax two points now that they're not going to turn down in front of the post. Brandon Moore looking for a quick play of the ball. Back supporters as one. Being for uh, Steve Tyra to go for the two when you're in front of the post. Another two points, you get the ball back two minutes from halfway. Tyra. Uh, kicking total. Interesting, the referee is making sure every London Broncos player is back behind their own try line. Didn't seem too concerned about it earlier when they were only going back seven or eight metres. Tyra to add another two points to the Halifax total, which you would expect from that position. London Broncos trailing Halifax 16, London 10. Uh, Halifax has points coming from Steve Tyra, who's passed the 1500 points mark with that first try in his Halifax career. Coming in 162 games. Quite an achievement, Dan Fleming. It's a brick wall of a defence there from the London Broncos who were uh, looking for something in the last minute of this game. Halifax will be looking to play the tackles out and play the clock down. And take the lead into the sheds at half time. Will Sharp over the 30 metre line. Sean Jones almost through the defence. And it's uh, Rob Butler takes the blood, it's for another ankle tap. Well, Grady has Saltlestall outside him. Saltlestall down the touchline, Dixon chasing him, gets it back inside, and Brandon Moore manages to stop it with his feet very cleverly rather than try and make the play for it and risk knocking on. Last tackle, will Morell go for a drop goal? It's a crossfield kick for McGrath, and McGrath takes the ball and gets it down. Is going behind the line, and McGrath will claim another four pointer for Halifax. With some real acrobatic skill there, up in the air, managing to pivot, and turn around and put the ball down so close to the flag. And on the home turf, Connor McGrath. Absolute stunning try. The kick from Morel was absolutely inch perfect. And Halifax have managed to take a 10 point seat and lead into the second spot. go down for one of the tries of the season so far just for the acrobatic effort from Conor McGrath but there are not enough praiseworthy words that can uh, add to that try sheer magic from McGrath and see Tyra as his Halifax teammates waiting behind him 
to leave the field for the half-time break. Tyra's kick is not the best. Would have given Halifax a 12-point lead. In practice, he should have had a 12-point lead as Tyra was denied one that looked to go through the middle. And after going down, six will with tries from William and a conversion from Sabbath. Tyra responded with a try, but then Kia, after a, a breakaway try from uh, Kira Dixon's pickup, Walker and uh, Dixon, uh, Walker and Kia interchanging for Kia to put down 10 4 and Halifax really put it together in the last couple of minutes. Grady with a power drive of a try over the line. Griggs doing the same a bit further out, but strength and determination took him over. Both converted by Steve Tyra. Conor McGrath with a late try, which uh, is absolute magic from the winger. The way he brought the ball down and got it down before going over the line. Gives Halifax an unlikely lead at the half-time break. And this year, Halifax 20, London Broncos 10. Half of Super League quality with a try from uh, Conor McGrath. Halifax leading by 10, but still 40 minutes to go. I think that uh, we can match or even improve on that first half performance. Well, the Cuban composure after facing four or five sets on their own line. Halifax drag itself back into the game. They'll be uh, running confident at the start of the second half against the London Broncos. Johnny Ward, I'm sure, will have been uh, exchanging a few choice words with his players at the half time break. to Eferangi for the kick to put pressure on Sharp and solve the stop Will Sharp pulls it up at the back and takes a safe carry into the Broncos defence Salt and Stall tackle 10 metres out by Sadiq and Ibayet and oh, almost a break away there from uh, Chester Butler who's been held by Harrison Dan Fleming has three round him and he's still driving forward. Shea Gradek gets it to Johnson. Johnson caught what looked like a high one from Dixon. Getting nothing for it. And Morell's kick drops in the heavy ground in front of Walker. And run it back almost to the 20 metre line. Reese Williams, London's first try scorer, stopped by three, gets to the 30 metre line, gets some plays it. Pefferange gives it to Lovell, who gets over the forte. And then we go through the first few tackles with the forwards, and here's another one in Eddie Batte. Batte looking round to offload, but uh, Sean Jones lifting him off the ground and turning him over, and then pushing Cunningham down. Referee not giving a knock on. Pefferange looking to fool the Halifax defence but not uh, falling for the dummy and making the tackle. Back to Samet for the kick. Fleming putting pressure on but Samet gets his kick away to 
Will Sharp, who's uh, looking for a little bit of space, he carries it back to the 20. It's Conor McGrath, trying to escape the clutches of uh, Adi Baye. James Green. Some strong runs in the first half and continuing in that vein early in the second. Simon Griggs. Being forced sideways by the Broncos defence. Brandon Moore goes from acting half, catches the defence, and off goes Brandon Moore. Well, he's on his own, he's looking round for support, he's put a kick into the corner. Butler's on a chase and uh, he's forced Reese Williams to kick the ball out of play. Reese Williams obviously not knowing just how close Butler was. I don't think he'd have got there, but the threat was there. And the doubt was in the mind of the London Broncos winger kicking the ball out of play and Halifax forcing out yet another drop out. Oh, Summit to kick out again in no rush to do so. Well, that one again gets to halfway with ease. James Green takes it off sharp and James Green charges it into the London defence almost turn him upside down for an illegal tackle then Sean Jones will look to do the same Halifax back to within 21 metres of the Broncos line Ben Johnston will look for runners finds Sharp Sharp will go through on his own but tackled by Elliot Kia. Johnston to Dan Fleming Fleming Running the ball up to the London defence, trying to tie them out a bit more, forcing them into uh, the tackles. Brandon Moore to Johnson. Johnson to Tyra. Tyra for the second. Halifax celebrate again. Short ball from Johnson and Tyra in for a second. And just to start, the Halifax needed to the second half. But the platform built by those strong surging runs from Green, Fleming and Jones making the defence work and London well, eventually tiring and unable to stop Steve Tyra reaching over and putting the ball down for the fifth Halifax try of the afternoon. to convert again, 15 metres out from the left hand upright, no wind to contend with or the touch judges to contend with who uh, seem to wave away a perfectly good conversion in the first half Ben Johnson stamping his mark on the game yet again with a pass supplied to Tyler, well they won't be able to turn that one down he's gone straight through the middle point lead to Halifax, 26-10 now they lead the London Broncos and a dream start to the second half for Halifax but the job not done till the 80th minute, Samet will kick long and deep Salt and Salt takes it on the try line, Fleming running it back again, making these defenders work, they put four into the tackle, only three required as uh, Lovell drops away, Johnson goes on his own, and he still sent three men in to tackle Ben Johnston, Brandon Moore to Sean Jones and Jones pushing Batty back and still dragging his legs forward, Sean Jones plays the ball eventually, Johnston turned, well looked to turn it back into Will Sharp that have been a bit of a hospital pass. Sharp's been dragged away by uh, the hooker Cunningham. And Morell, little toe poke over the top again. And that one will be Dixon with a spin into the touch. And did Dixon touch the ball? Question being asked. And the answer was swift. It looked like the ball bounced off Dixon with the backspin on it, but uh, Halifax not getting anything from it. 
Luke Appeal from the uh, Halifax attackers on this side. To whether Dixon tips that ball, but the referee waving away their uh, questions with a swift note on the short side. Ben Johnston round the legs of uh, Jared Sammet, or Elliot Keir, sorry. Still a danger, almost posed in the middle there. James Green making the tackle. Williams will take it up over the 40. A sense of urgency now about the Broncos. With a 16 point deficit. And a big hit there from uh, Moore on Ben Halliwell, halfway line. Rob Butler gets the pass away. Halifax with swarming defence, last tackle. Referee with a hand in the air, Peferange. Oh, a little kick forward, tempting, sharp. Leaving the ball, Saltonstall with his back to the London Broncos defence retreating. Just making sure. Ball lift the field safely. Halifax will get the scrum on the 10 metre line. Halifax coach Richard Marshall will have watched those two games that have lost over the Easter period and will have uh, picked out potential frailties as Elliot Morris comes on with uh, Jacob Fairbank returning for Dan Fleming and Simon Griggs James Green takes the ball into the defence tries to put it away from the tackle Brandon Moore to Johnston, Johnston to Elliot Morris. And again, the Broncos putting in three defenders and finally Morris to the ground. Morell goes for the 40 20. So we have to take a wicked bounce. Is that one to carry it to the touchline? But it doesn't. Walker allowed to reclaim it. Dixon going across the field. Great tackle from Tester Butler from Kieran Dixon. Dixon playing for the penalty. The referee says get up and play it. And Williams is tackled and it's Butler again involved in the tackle. This time with Fairbank and Fairbank gets up and waits and he goes in with uh, Sean Jones and James Green. Sabbath looking for runners. Gets it to Robert Butler. And Butler put down on the 40 metre line the 10 minute mark in the first half and the Broncos looking at the left hand side Williams forced into a, an infield kick and Will Sharp, uh, Will Sharp might have a little bit of space to work in there well not a lot but he's gone back to the 40 metre line Conor McGrath charges the ball up to halfway and the Broncos still a little bit forward of the referee Sean Jones again looking to threaten Johnston shows the ball, goes down on one lee, gets back up again. Cunningham wraps him up and there looked to be a third man in there in uh, Spencer. James Green charging it forward. Last tackle, 22 metres out. Johnston gives it to Grady. Grady steps, turns it back inside but uh, doesn't find Johnston with a pass. At least Halifax are in the Broncos red zone. They get up and want to play it quickly. Spencer immediately put under pressure from Morris and the Broncos losing ground on the first tackle as uh, Morris pushes Spencer back towards his own try line Samet giving a little bit of a hospital pat no, it's not Samet, it's uh, Keir again who's uh, come into the line and very similar Keir and Samet with his beard Dixon hit by Tyra and Gradeck well, he might have the speed, but he hasn't got the strength to break through the tackle of the Halifax defences. Pefferangi gives it to Buckler, five metres from halfway. Back to Pefferangi for the kick again. Charged down by Grady. Eh? Knock on from the London Broncos. Lovell unable to pick up the spinning ball. Halifax will get 
possession at the scrum. Which will go down a metre inside the Halifax half and uh, Jared Samet questioning something with a the referee there. with possession again. Well, Sean Jones has dropped out of the scrum to carry the ball over halfway. Holly back making another change, Jones Green taking a looks deserved rest. As Brandon Douglas comes back on, Johnston Dummett draws the defence to him. Gap inside to Brandon Douglas and Douglas will almost get him through there. The Bronco defender making the mistake of going upstairs, Sam Davis. And Morell shows the ball, gets it to Sharp. Sharp to him. And Dummett has done it again. Well, he's been called back by the referee. Another acrobatic drive by Conor McGrath. He's waved away this time by the touches on that far side who said he went into touch. And Halifax need to cover the field at this side now as uh, Elliot Keir threatens. Steps through one tackle, still going, and Keir, much determination, Sean Jones has gone down. And Dixon goes from acting half and still doesn't have the strength to go through the Halifax defence, but has made a good meet again for the London Broncos. Play stopped, referee stopping the game for it. Indire, well, Sean Jones receives attention. All the energy and vigour shown in some of these championship games matches the quality of some Super League games that people have seen this season. McGrath unlucky to be denied again after launching himself from three or four metres away in an effort to get the ball down. Well, Halifax back to 13 in defence. Pefferange gets the ball away to Lewis Beenick. Beenick tackled 35 metres out. Pefferange shows the ball again, gets it away to Alex Walker. Halifax moving up, they're in, the, uh, they're in the red zone and Halifax defending. Well, they did that admirably in the first half. Beanick taken by Grady. Showing the same level of determination in the second half as Pefferangi almost loses the ball. Gets it back to Walker. Walker, the dummy saw Spencer tried to go on his own. I'm not sure how many tackles. Well, the referee has finally raised his hand. Spencer to Samet. Samet kicks through. And Conor McGrath will be forced to put the ball it's come off a London player the effort was made to try and score the try and it worked in Halifax's benefit as Conor McGrath shows the ball to Salt and Salt and takes it 12 metres up on the first run and now Salt and Salt will try and increase that uh, metre that Halifax are getting gets the quick play of the ball Brandon Moore has got the penalty out of Tom Spencer First penalty of the second half in Halifax's favour. Morell kicking for touch on the far side of the field. Puts the ball out of play, 18 metres out from the London Broncos line. Halifax going hunting more points and this really will make the task a greater one for the London Broncos if Halifax can con con construct a try out of this attack. Morris and off but caught round the legs by uh, Sam Davis. Johnston brings Grady back on the inside and Grady away to Will Sharp. Halifax throwing the ball about. Morell eventually takes the tackle. Halifax putting the passes together but not really going forward. Morris tries again to uh, unlock that Broncos defence. But he's caught five metres away. Brandon Moore to Ben Johnston, Johnston with a kick to the corner, Tyra for a hat-trick. 
foot offside, so the referee and uh, obstruction. So the indication as to why the Broncos have got the penalty. tech. Janet Sammet being taken from the field to be replaced by uh, James Cunningham. Like that uh, London supporters would have wanted to see Jarrett Summit being taken from the field. Well, they're more influential players. We'll see if they've got any more in the absence of Summit for the remaining 23 and a half minutes. Cunningham taking the long floated pass. Chester Butler was going for the interception there. He probably would have got it if Cunningham had passed, but he's taken the Broncos back over the 40 metre line. And you buy it. Tackle round the legs by Fairbanks on that far side looking to break away but the pass day fix got away to Halliwell but Halliwell looking for Williams find the ball over and above the winger Halifax line remains intact Conor McGrath will receive attention on the far side of the field Carriers are on. This game being played in what's probably the uh, mildest day of the year so far. Maybe uh, summer is on the way. Turf at long last. And the sun certainly shine on Halifax this afternoon. And, uh, really good performance so far. Of those two London tries that were conceded, one of them was really from a, a mistake by Halifax where Dixon, Walker and Kia combined to go the full length of the field. The first try was uh, pretty well constructed, other than that Halifax defence been on top for large amounts of time in this game. And not only that, but Halifax have found a way to uh, score as well after some low scoring matches earlier and in fact have found a way to unlock the opposition defence the London Broncos defence up to Easter they've only conceded about 60 points and uh, last two games conceding big scores over 30 points and maybe that could happen again this afternoon as Halifax far forward again in searching more points and uh, Will Mayer back on looking for a tuck to the ball Morell will hammer it down into the Broncos half of the field and out of touch Steve Tyra looking for a change of footwear while the scrum takes place Slow play up at the school is uh, helping Tyra. He's having his boots strapped up rather than tied up. The referee has uh, spot Steve Tyra now and stopped the clock to allow the uh, Halifax centre. He was on a hat trick and almost had it about five minutes ago. So maybe time for Steve Tyra. 21 minutes left in this game to, uh, to get his hat trick. Rare sighted Halifax shirt so far this season. Grade it with a tackle with uh, Tyra. Halifax will ride a bit high then on the Lovell but managed to get away with it. And, uh, Dixon proving a bit of a handful. Goes inside and Pefferaghi gets the ball to Spencer. And he 
Bay it takes the ball from Cunningham, gets the pass away, and an intercept, and Tyra might get his hat trick. He's a long way to go, and he's getting on a bit. The defence coming back, got the hand off on Walker, can't get back up and play the ball and continue. And maybe Walker should have been penalised there. Salton Sol going down the same side, can't get the arm free to release the pass. Tyra still catching breath while Butler goes for the try line. Saltonstall won't crash over, but well, he might still do. Got it to Johnston, and Johnston looking for a way through. And Halifax threatening to score again as they keep the ball alive. Saltonstall inside to Brandon Douglas, not the best of passes, and Brandon Douglas has got four London Broncos defenders around him. Last tackle, the calling for defenders on that far side as Morell chips through. Who's it coming off? Well, the chase is on, and uh, the chase is effective, but Lewis Beanick was never going to go the full length of the field. This man, Mike Williams, if the Halifax defence aren't back and alert, set through two tackles, gone down, and Johnson and Solisol making sure he stayed there. Elliot Keir up to the Halifax 40. The Broncos making uh, advantage with ease, Lovell. Tackle by Will Sharp. Effer running across the angles, gets it to Cunningham, and Cunningham gets his pass away. Conor McGrath tries to tackle and strip, and doesn't succeed in either, but the London Broncos succeed in continuing to keep the ball alive as uh, Jay Pitts is tackled 10 metres away on the last tackle. Back to Cunningham, cross field kick, taken by Johnson. Johnson takes the tackle of Lovell. Grady takes the ball from Saltonstall. Halifax having to run the ball away from their own line. Brandon Moore to Will Sharp. Sharp driving towards the 20 metre line. Dan Fleming back on for Brandon Douglas. Colin McGrath tries to help out the forwards. Will Mayer takes it up to the 40 metre line, last tackle, it's good defence from the Broncos, the ball will go back to Morell, Morell, well he's got a 40-20, has Scott Morell, and he's there first to get the ball, because he believes, got the 40-20, Halifax can play on from there, Referee letting the Broncos defenders get back. I'm not sure why, because he's not pulled them back for most of the game. Dan Fleming, inching Halifax near the line. Sharp gets it to Tyra. Oh, what a ball from Tyra. And Sultan Sol just wasn't alert to it. And that would have been game set and match for Halifax. Lightning pass from Steve Tyra. Should have put Sultan Sol into the corner. Should have been game over. But, uh, 17 minutes left and Halifax winning by 26 points to 10. And Danny Ward looking to get uh, Matt Davis back onto the field. Pepper rang it. So in a touch, went behind his own player. Appeals for uh, obstruction waved away again as Halifax eventually make the tackle on Jay Pitts. So we hope that uh, the miss by Salisall doesn't prove. Oh! oh, well done by Dan Fleming, putting Cunningham into his own man and Salisall coming in off the wing. Well, I'm not sure what Lovell was looking for there, perhaps the referee to whistle the layout now. Salton Sol zones up because the referee is going to give a high tackle. Which didn't look like it. And Luke Lovell didn't suffer any ill effects from it. Pefferani puts the ball into touch. And London begin on the Halifax 30 metre line, looking for the first point of the second half. Cunningham looks for the runners. Well, the ball has gone forward, off the foot, and the referee has decided that it's an error after 
prolonged deliberation. But London, it had to be said, were threatening then. They had an overlap on that far side. Tried to ship the ball out quickly, too quickly. And almost as Halifax did in their last set of six down by the Broncos half. The, uh, the pass was too fast, too forward, and Halifax will regain possession for the scrum. Dropping out of the back of the scrum and Shane Grady should drive up to the Halifax 40 metre line. Should they get up and play the ball? Will Sharp goes from acting half. Well, what about that one for a high tackle? No difference between that and the last one. Will Sharp gets up and plays the ball. Dan Fleming oh, just looking round to offload. Couldn't get it away to Fairbank. Will Mayer charges it up. Three defenders move into ring. And along with the striding Will Mayer down Johnson. Halifax attacking down this near side again. Tyra kicks it through. Came off a London player. Well, the 50 50 calls them. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. London quick to put down the uh, scrum. The referee forcing the referee to stop in the clock. to Elliot Kia. Halliwell was looking for the pass then. Couldn't get it. Williams tackled on the 30. And Halifax. Well Williams played for the penalty then and uh, and got it. Cunningham puts the ball into touch, London restart on halfway with Halliwell. Take the tap and go and get absolutely clobbered. Not surprisingly with the dead stop, Fairbank that gets some last man in the tackle. Halliwell will play the ball. Matt Davis takes it over the Halifax Forte. out towards that far side again the London Broncos but the Halifax defence holding fast on that far side just outside the 20. Cunningham running across the field gets it to Pefferangi. Pefferangi going back to where it came from and uh, Matt Davis almost losing the ball then as it got back to him from Pefferangi. Pefferangi again short ball more direct route from Lewis Beanick but uh, being pushed back further than he carried the ball forward then. The Broncos forward, a little chip through from Cunningham and Sharp will take it in the goal area but there will be a penalty for a late challenge on Cunningham who's surprisingly, not surprisingly, quickly back up on his feet and ready to uh, launch this next assault on the Halifax line with 13 minutes left and still leading 26 points to 10. 16 point lead. Broncos needing three scores. Halifax's defence has been solid and determined so far. They remain so on the first tackle, six metres out from the Halifax line. Sam Davis waits at acting out. Pefferangi gets the drop off ball to Spencer. Spencer smothered by three. Put down. Broncos still six metres away, Davis into acting half and Pefferangi took the pass and Tyra spotted it straight away to take down the Broncos standoff. Davis looks to go on his own, Davis still going but Halifax tracking him and bringing him down a metre from the line. Well a crash ball, is that a try from the London Broncos? Nothing from the touch as Halifax fall to a, a soft try, it looks like Lovell who's gone over for the London Broncos. And a soft try conceded by Halifax close to the line. James Green looking to get back onto the field. 
for Richard Marshall's side. Well, that's put the game within uh, the grasp of the London Broncos and Kieran Dixon will take over the kicking duties. 15 goals so far this season, second choice kicker. Converts the try. Well, it's uh, nervous times for Halifax with uh, just over 11 minutes remaining. remaining. Elliot Morris has been replaced by James Green. Well, to restart. across the face of the goal to Walker, Halifax smothering Walker he managed to get 10 metres away from the Broncos line Spencer is not going to, well he didn't look like he was going to get 10 metres then he did and then he didn't tackled by Green Halifax making the tackle on that far side pitch driven towards the touch line by, Jacob, uh, by Chester Butler Cunningham looking for runners. Broncos trying to create opportunities on this side of the field. Lovell threatening. Put down by Grady. Halifax tackling for all the worth. Here comes uh, Elliot Kia. Last tackle again. The referee takes a long time in putting his hand into the air. And Broncos going for the power play. A long pass out to Williams and Williams. Kicks over the top, Sharp will uh, collect the ball. And bring it back across the face of goal. Evades two defenders, Will Sharp. And then gets 15 metres away from the Halifax skyline. Well, Halifax won't be nervous so long as they've got possession. So we'll have for, uh, another four tackles after this one. As Conor McGrath takes Halifax forward. Salton Stall over the advantage line but loses possession. Claims it was stolen. And Lovell gets it away to Pefferagi, out to Kia. Kia goes inside, another obstruction. And the referee has to give it this time. Well, he looked to uh, blow the whistle. Halifax thought they were getting a penalty for the obstruction, but he's gone back to a previous event. Obviously, still citing the uh, advantage of the London Broncos from the area Halifax had made. Well, less than 10 minutes ago, Pefferage shows one way, gives it to Kia. Kia marked by Tyra and Salt and Stall. Dixon. Stepper gets the ball away but the contact was immediate from Halifax in defence and desperate from Fairbank. Halifax almost caught again as uh, London Broncos edge the way towards the Halifax line. Davis. Ample tapped. Halifax defending for their lives against Jay Pitts on the last tackle now with a hand in the air the referee will it be another kick from Cunningham it's a long pass looking for Lovell who scored once looking for another opportunity but Johnston falling as he took the ball thankfully because he was facing that uh, stand and could have been carried over the line Salt and Salt tackled Fleming tries to take it away almost as though he's going to offload them but uh, didn't get the opportunity. Grady takes it to the 20. Well, how the referee never saw Matt Davis go offside then is beyond me. Brandon Moore goes for acting half. Morell kicks the ball downfield. Walker picks it up for the London Broncos. Walker will be tackled just over the Broncos 40 with uh, less than eight minutes to go. Williams. 
bad man to put down Reese Williams upper body strength Batty back on for the uh, London Broncos put down on the Halifax 30 metre line Cunningham gets the pass away and Chester Butler there again to make the tackle and Halifax forcing the ball carrier back towards his own try line again Ben Elliwell that time feeling the full force of the Halifax defence Peferaki Peferaki takes a long pass is allowed to step inside and Pem Peferaki being given an opportunity which Alex Walker thankfully for Halifax has put down referee has waved play on and will come back for the knock on around about the 10 metre mark Breathe a sigh of relief as Alex Walker puts the ball down. Could have been a heart stopping moment there for Halifax. Maybe a few more before this game's over. Will Sharp. Put down just inside the Halifax 20, can he? Could do something up to get themselves to the other end of the field. Because I think if they get anywhere near, then there may be a one pointer on the cards for Halifax. But uh, the London Broncos know that and are doing everything they can to keep Halifax in their own half of the field. Sean Jones back on for Halifax, driving the ball up the middle. Gives it to Fairbank. Fairbank smothered by the defence. Halifax still in their own half on the last tackle. So the ball will go to Morell for the kick. And Morell down the touch line again. Not as successful. Walker allowed to bring it back. Halifax up to make the tackle just over the Broncos 30 metre line. Cunningham kicks behind the Halifax defence. Salton stalls on a chase with Dixon, but Sharp will get it for Halifax and Dixon will tackle him Dixon. <laughs> the uh, supporters cries of derision about the way London Broncos are cynically offside tell their own story Fairbank takes the ball up and Spins out of the first tackle of Jacob Fairbank. Gets Halifax over halfway. And Will Mayer will make another 13 or 14 metres for Halifax. So the clock tick down to less than five minutes. It'll go to Johnston for the kick. It bounces off the back of uh, Elliot Keir and Dixon. Trying to push Johnson off. Oh, that is a immense tackle. Oh, that's a great tackle. James Green with Grady and Johnson picking up Dixon and carrying him back fully 10 metres towards his own line. Great defensive effort. Well, they had a bit of a, looked like they were having a bit of a lapse as Walker almost threatened. But they seem to have uh, got the defensive mojo back. New Halifax. So close to a, a win over a top four side as Batty. Setting down just short of the London Broncos, 40 metre line. Cunningham across the field again, off. James Green gets the pass away. London Broncos looking for opportunities on that far side. Jay Pitts gets the ball, and the referee has waved play on to what looked like a knock on as Pefferaghi goes away again. And it's caught. Well, there's a penalty. Tyra. Could potentially have been in the simbin for that one. Well, the kick is no good for the London Broncos. They're going to have to go for the four pointer. Well, I suppose cynical or not, it's the only thing Tyra could have done because Pefferangi had broke through. Halifax defender still coming back and conceding a penalty, which could turn into four shortly. Except the ball has ragged, gone to the floor. 
So looking for Pe Peferragi to unlock the defence again. Peferragi gives it to Lovell. Lovell gives it to Kia. Kia sets off towards Halifax line. He's brought down five metres away. Davis to Cunningham. Long pass out. And Halliwell uh, Williams gets the ball. Halifax keep the smothering defence going. And the ball dropped by the London Broncos. And Will Sharp looking for the quick play to get away. And there are some tired looking bodies on this Halifax side now. As London throw everything they can at Halifax in these closing two and a half minutes. Salt and Salt is tackled. Sean Jones trying to get up and play the ball quickly. Salt and Salt goes from acting half again. And Salt and Salt gets up to halfway, loses possession, but then looked like Batty had knocked it on. Well, the referee allowing London to continue. Lovell played out wide, trying to go through the Halifax defence. Ball stripped, says the referee. And Dixon will look for the quick play for touch. There's less than two minutes left. Dixon looked for Pepper, Pepper Rangi, who was looking the other way then. Well, Dixon went on his own, took it to within 10 metres. Well, Halifax needed to muster up one big last set of six. Ball goes to ground. There's a knock on. They're not going to get away with that one. And that should give Halifax the match. Last, only a minute left on the clock. There's, uh, that's the last throw of the dice for the London Broncos, who slip down to their third defeat. Well, Halifax gain two points on them in the race for the top four. Massive confidence booster. Only the fourth win in 13 games for Halifax. He won 19-6 here last season. It's going to look more convincing in the end this, this afternoon. 26-16. It's a testament to the Halifax defence this afternoon. And the attack for mustering up the points, but uh, Halifax have repelled everything the London Broncos have thrown at them. And Conor McGrath threatening to break through again, but Batty just dragging him down, gets up, quick play, Salt and Stall will just carry the ball up to the defence, three seconds to go and Halifax will claim another two valuable league points with a heroic performance against the London Broncos who came here on the back of two defeats, took the lead, managed to get it to 10 4 but Halifax has purple patch at the end of the first half with those three tries from Brady, Grits and McGrath and two conversions from Steve Tyra really put Halifax in the driving seat and Halifax have been their authority on the game right from the uh, outset in the second half Tyra's try and conversion and it could have been a hat-trick and it could have been a bigger win if Salt and Salt had attempted to pass off uh, Tyra but all London had to offer was a try from Lovell and a conversion from Dixon Halifax win by 10 points, an important two points, an important win for Halifax who play Swinton at home next week. Final score of the Halifax <coughs> is Halifax 26, London Broncos 16.